Hello everyone. My name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joyroot Jojo. In my previous video, I explained how to set up automatic enrollment in Intune and how it works on devices, especially on Azure AD joint devices and Azure AD registered devices. In this video, we will explore how the automatic enrollment works on hybrid joint machines. Nowadays, it's called as Microsoft Entra Hybrid Joint. If you have not watched my previous video, I have added the link in the description. Please watch it first, then watch this video. If you like the video, please do subscribe and support me. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please add it in the comment section. All right. Let's check how the auto enrollment works on hybrid AD join machines. In order to automatically enroll domain join devices, we need to configure group policy to trigger the enrollment. Azure Active Directory Domain Services does not support hybrid Azure AD join and is not supported for automatic enrollment by default. There are few other things we need to configure. So the first thing we should have auto we should enable automatic enrollment settings that I have already done in my previous video, but still I will show it again in this video. And the second thing we should have a Microsoft Entra Connect. In other words, we can say Microsoft Azure AD Connect. Azure AD Connect Sync must be configured to synchronize devices, not not just usage. It should synchronize the devices too. And the third thing we require the group policy. We have to set up the group policy on the domain controller with appropriate settings for Intune communication. So we will do it practically right now and we'll check it out. So let us log into the Intune portal first and enable the automatic enrollment settings first. This is, I, as I mentioned you, I have already done in my previous video, but still I will just show you how to enable the automatic enrollment in Intune. So presently we are in the Microsoft Intune admin center. Enable the automatic enrollment. You have to go to devices, windows, windows enrollment, automatic enrollment. Uh, I have already configured it. By default, MDM user scope will be none. And windows information protects user scope will be none. If you want, you can select it for a particular group. In that case, you have to select some and select that particular group. This is helpful for you for the test purpose. In case you have to test it before applying to all uses, you can uh, test it with a particular group and check it out whether the automatic enrollment works for that particular group. In our case, as it's a lab environment, I'm allowing it for all. And the other thing, Windows information protection should be none. And MDM scope should be all. Once you've done these settings, automatic enrollment has been done. This is my domain controller. I have synced the local Active Directory and the uses to Azure AD with the help of Azure AD Connect. Normally in the production environment, instead of syncing all the OU to Azure AD, we normally specify the OU that need to sync with Azure AD. In our case, we can specify the OU in tune sync to get sync to Azure AD. And I have moved the devices and the user to this particular OU. How to set up Azure AD Connect? I shall create a separate video. In this video, we focus on the group policy that to be created for auto enrollment. So to create the group policy, go to run and type gpmc.mse and click on enter. The group policy management as open under the domain level or you can uh, specify to the particular OU that has to be synced with the Azure AD you can create you have to create a group policy I have created the group policy in the domain level you right click on the domain create the GPO in this domain and link it here name it as Intune enrollment and click OK right click on the created GPO on edit go to the computer configuration policies administrative templates let me expand this go to windows components and select 
MDM. Here you can see a settings enable automatic MDM enrollment using default Azure AD credentials. So you have to double click on the settings. By default, it will be not configured. Click on enable and here uh, select the credential type to use. You have to select user credentials and you can just read the help that is written over here. This policy setting specifies whether to automatically enroll the device to the mobile device management service configured in Azure Active Directory. If the enrollment is successful, the device will be remotely managed by the MDM service. The device must be registered in Azure AD for enrollment to succeed. Click on Apply and click on OK. This is the group policy settings that you have to create it. Now close this and close the group policy. So we'll go there to the Intune portal. Go to the devices, Windows devices. Here you can see the devices that got enrolled automatically post creating the GPU. I hope I have explained how the automatic enrollment works on hybrid AD join devices and how to create the GPU. So we will meet you in another video. Goodbye.